Hey guys, this is Matt Slauson. Um, on one of the uh, repair pages, uh, one of the repair people posted some really nice pictures of some uh, rollers they made out of uh, pen blanks and they showed it being cut up into, the blank cut up into quarters to make little, like about quarter inch or so square pieces. And I made the comment that you really don't need much of anything. You, all you need is a three-jaw chuck and a, uh, your lathe to, to make these. You don't need a lathe dog and you don't need, um, I happen to use most of the time a, a square collet, but you can do this with just your three-jaw chuck and your normal lathe tools. So I thought I'd demo what I, how I do it and uh, uh, you might find it interesting. So this piece that I have here is a uh, section out of a uh, an old hard rubber uh, clarinet and I just kind of chopped a, a straight section out of it and it is far from being square or round and I'm gonna turn it into a, the start of a blank to make rollers out of it so these these old clarinet bodies make nice rollers for the old saxophone so what I do is I start by guessing where the actual center is essentially and it's it's basically if this were just a two-dimensional it'd be essentially the centroid so I'm just gonna scribe it a little bit scratch it and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this to both ends I'm gonna mark where I think the center is and then I'm gonna take it over to my bench motor I have a little uh, center drill and I'm just gonna center drill it uh, by hand so I'm gonna punch those So I've got, hopefully you can see, I got a little center mark on those. I'm going to go drill just with a center drill by eye in my bench motor. So now I have a center mark on both ends. And uh, this is pretty, pretty simple. I'm going to chuck it in my three jaw chuck and not worry about it being centered at all. So tighten this up and I'm just going to have a little bit of it in the chuck just to drive it and what I'm going to do is what I'm going to do is just make one end of it round to start with and that's all you really need is one end round that's tight enough to get it to drive it. And all I'm going to do is make one end of it round and then flip it around. Now that I've got a, an end that really is pretty much round and about the size of, a, of the, uh, the blank, I'm going to put this end in. And I've already got the center in the other end. And I'm not taking off lots of material. I'm being kind of gentle because it's not real, uh, it's not a real stiff material. And actually, because I'm, I'm, I'm pretty lazy, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to use my power key, take it off in a couple of passes. And it's bouncing a little bit, but I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do this in a hurry, so it's... Oops. Went the 
wrong way. So I'm going to take... So I've got it roughed out to be round. I'm not taking great care for this. But you get the idea. Another path. So you could take a lot better care than I did and have better speeds and feeds on it, but that was a pretty irregular shaped piece of material. And now it's at least round enough to chuck it up in the in the three jaw, you know, properly, not the not the way I kinda half baked did it. And you can finish cutting the the end of it and you've got some roller stock. So there it is.